back today with another video today's gonna be another story time okay <sighs> this story time is gonna be three situations where my friends were stillers but i'm not a stiller okay I, my mama didn't raise me to be a stiller i'm not I'm, I, I don't have it in me it's the god in me honey i can't be a stiller but these girls <laughs> all right so we're just gonna hop right into <laughs> We gonna hop right into the first story, okay? Now this first story, we gonna go ahead and call my friend Victoria. I don't even know Victoria, do I? No, I don't know Victoria, so we gonna call her Victoria. So, me and Victoria, we met in high school. We were mad close, like literally, we was ice cream Sunday. Okay, how was the Sunday, okay? <laughs> but we was ice cream Sunday. There was no me without her. You know, like, if you saw Victoria, you saw me, okay? We was like this. There was no, you know, once we became friends, we was like this. Everybody know that. I'm pretty sure the whole city knew that. I got all the time. She was always at my house. We was, we, me and Victoria, we like this, okay? Mind you, we like this. So, it was a time where I didn't know Victoria had it in her to be a thief because her personality, she was just so, like, real. She was mad real. Like, she would just tell you what it was. She would tell guys what it was. Like, she was just mad real. So, I didn't know she had it in her to be a stealer. Like, it wasn't it wasn't in her personality. She didn't come off as a thief. Like, my last friend I'm going to tell you about. Okay, she didn't come off like a thief. So, I would never have thought... <sighs> She was she was a thief okay i almost had a heart attack in the store so that's the background of victoria so this is what happened so we we hanging out um for some reason we in inglewood over there with the target and stuff is that so we down there no money we had no money i don't know why we was in stores with no money but we was just in stores like looking at stuff i'm looking at stuff like oh my mama give me money i'm a cop this you know so we don't have stores we ain't got no money whatever well i don't know if she had money but i know i didn't have no money well i don't think she had money she's stealing so <laughs> i guess she didn't have no money so we all in the stores and whatever and we go into target you know target tarjay tarjay okay <laughs> Especially on that side of town, that was definitely Tar J, okay? You have all the bougie black folks, okay? <laughs> that was definitely a Tar J, the hood Tar J, okay? The one in Inglewood is a hood Tar J by the racetrack. You from LA, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, we over there, you know, we walking through the aisles and whatever. And I know she told me before we got her. So, she's like, oh, I need to get some new moccasins. So, I was just like, oh, he, you know. So we walking through the store, she gets to the suit section, she's looking at stuff. I kind of moseyed off like to go look in the clothes and stuff like that. Like, when I get money, I'm going to buy this right here. I'm going to put this on layaway. <laughs> I'm looking like, I'm going to put this on layaway right quick. So, you know, I'm over there. I mosey back over there where she's at. And for some reason, she acting a little funny. You know, she acting a little funny. So I was just like, you know, I didn't think anything of it until I saw her take her shoes off and switch them with the shoes that were in the box. If you don't know what I mean, she took off her old moccasins and switched them with the moccasins, the new moccasins that was in the box. So, <laughs> when I seen that, I was kind of like, hurry. Well, I was about to cry. I had so many emotions. I wanted to cry. I wanted to scream. I wanted to hit her because I was just like, I'm not a thief and I don't want to go down be guilty by association. I was just like, this is not happening. So I panicked. I told her, I was, I'm pretty sure she saw it in my face. I panicked and she was just like, it's okay. We're just going to walk out. Really, it was a black security card at the, at the door. So we walk in and when I tell you, I'm at the borderline of a heart attack, like my heart is beating through my eyeballs. That's how real it was. I was just like, I can't believe this. This is not happening. I, I can't, I don't want to do this. I want to turn around and say, what's that me? Cause he was staring at it. So I wanted to immediately just be like, it wasn't me. But we get it out, no beeping, no sirens nothing so i'm i'm like walking hella fast trying to get out of the parking lot because i was like they could still chase us down you know what i'm saying 
So we get out of the parking lot, go into the bus stop. And I was just like, oh my God, did you really? Like, I was in denial. And she was like, yeah, I do this a lot. What? I was just like, I'm always with you. I never see you do this. Like, you know, this was, this, this was my, this is my ace of spades. Okay, I didn't, I never would have thought, you know, like. But I mean, as far as I can remember, that was the only time she ever did it. But when I tell you I was scared shitless, because one, like, you can't steal from Target. Like, they be watching. I'm surprised not one associate came up to us and was just like, oh, do you guys need help with anything? You know, because, you know, that's what they do when they think you're stealing. Or, I mean, maybe that's what they do out here. Because I know when I go to Target, if I have my kids or not, they always come up to me like, do you need help with anything? And I know what that means. That always means that they think you're stealing. If, if an associate randomly comes up to you like, oh, do you need help with anything? It's because they think you're stealing. <laughs> Especially if a manager comes up to you like, oh, do you need help with anything? I just be looking like, no, I don't. And I know exactly what I came here for. But thanks for acknowledging me. <laughs> out of all these people in the store, thanks for acknowledging me. I feel so special. Like, get out of here. But I'm surprised nobody came up to us and was just like, oh, do you guys need help with nothing? No one came up to us. So <sighs> that was the first time I was on the bridge of a heart attack. Now, this second time, I was not expecting it. Okay, it kind of just came out of nowhere. And this is how this situation happened. So... This girl, we gonna call her Jessie. Um, I knew Jessie for a couple of years, family, friends, whatever, whatever. So she was mad cool. Me and her, we're in downtown LA. Downtown LA keep getting me caught up, okay? Downtown LA keep getting me caught up. So we're in downtown LA, okay? And we go to the store. I mean, I think we were just walking the strip, you know. I know we had got food and stuff, just walking up and down, and down to LA. We going to Follis. Now, my mama used to send me to Follis all the time to go buy clothes, like for church, you know, when I needed clothes for school. We go to Follis, okay? Because some of you go upstairs to the junior section and it be popping. Like, they had a own nice, like, junior section that was popping, okay? So, we. Fathers was my place. My mama used to send me there. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I can't I can't get caught up in this store. Like these people have seen me before, okay? <laughs> so we go in Fathers. We go upstairs to the junior section. And I'm not thinking anything of anything. I had this like this big old bag like with Hello Kitty and I like whatever. Like I'm not a stiller. Okay. This chick. She gonna say, ooh, I'm about to take some stuff. So I'm looking like, like what do you mean? Like, <laughs> I don't want to deal with this no more. <laughs> so she takes my bag and she starts putting shit in the bag. Like, she literally starts taking stuff off. And she's like, oh, I've done this before. So she'll take it off, go, like, get in the cut somewhere, stick it in her bag. Now, I didn't think upstairs had cameras because... I know they were still building like the junior section so some of the parts of the junior section were like under construction so I didn't think they had security cameras up there because I know there was no higher floor at first it used to just be the lower floor and then downstairs would be the junior section so when they extended the store and made the junior section upstairs I didn't think they had security cameras so I was nervous, but then again, I was just like, okay, like, I've shopped here. I've seen people still before and literally walk out. So I was just like, like, do whatever you want. <laughs> I was just like, do whatever you want. Like, let's hurry up. Let's get out of here. So me, like, I hear them paging security to the junior section. So I'm just like, oh, shit. Like, I told her, I'm like, yo, they're paging security. She's like, oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. So we start going down the escalator to go like out and a Hispanic lady, she's standing at the end of the stairs, like the escalator. And I see her and my heart is beating through. <laughs> Mind you, at that time I had red hair. I had like dark roots and red hair. So automatically in my mind, I was like, I'm changing my hair. Like, <laughs> I'm getting a new weave today because I got. I know my mama gonna send me over here, you know? So, I wanna tell you, I have the guiltiest conscience. I have the guiltiest, the guiltiest conscience, okay? So, we get to the lady, the lady's like, open your bag. <laughs> She's like, open the bag. 
So I know like my guys is just, you know, she was trying to act hard, whatever. I was just like, she was just like, no, I'm not gonna open my bag. Oh, so she opens the bag, the lady like takes the stuff out and she's like, don't come back here again. I should get you arrested. So we just walk out. I was just like, they can't, I mean, LAPD gonna take forever to come. Let's just go. So <laughs> we just walk out. Now, when I tell you I'm not a thief, this is how you know I'm not a thief. I wasn't even the one stealing. As soon as we get outside, I literally feel like everyone's looking at me. Like, I'm telling her, I'm like, yo, everyone's looking at me. Like, I feel so bad, you know? And she's just like, oh, you're paranoid. <laughs> but when I tell you, Everyone was looking at me. I'm not kidding. Like, we're walking down, like, to go back to the bus stop. And I literally see people, like, like, staring at me. Like, they knew what just happened. And they were staring at me. And it was just, like, that whole day, that's exactly how I felt. I just felt like everybody in the town knew what just happened. And I was embarrassed. And I was like, oh, my God, this is not something that I do. So, why why <laughs> i was just like this is not something that i do and i was i was paranoid i was like everybody know you know somebody gonna tell my mama and i'm, I'm gonna get beat okay i'm gonna get beat today but my mom never found out she never knew until she watched this video mama it wasn't me <laughs> it was not me they is the thieves i just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong people put it like that now this last situation <laughs> this is why I, I, I can't I cannot with people this is why I can't with people so this happened when I was in the valley I went to the valley go meet up with one of my friends let's call her Georgina <laughs> call her Georgina it's kind of too close to her name though, but let's call her Georgina okay and we're going through the panorama mall you know strolling through the mall you know whatever whatever we go into forever 21 now this forever 21 had their jury section on one side kind of like the one in hollywood it had the jury section on one side and then the other side is the actual store so we in the jury section now there i don't even know i should have to tell y'all but there are no censors on the jury section i don't know if it is now but back then literally there were no censors on the jury section. We're going through the jury section. I'm not thinking anything. I'm just looking at stuff like, oh girl, this ring right here. When I get married, they gonna be me right here. Bam, bam, bam. You know, I'm just, just a kid, teenager doing what teenagers do. So we come out the jury section. We go actually into the store, and you know, my friend, she had like a purse. It wasn't too big. Like it's not a. It wasn't a stiller's purse. But for a still, you can use any type of purse. So we, you know, we stroll in the store or whatever. I'm not noticing anything because I'm not by her. She's over here. I'm over here looking at the jeans. You know, I'm just like, wow, $30? <laughs> I'm looking at these jeans like, $30? Like, are they worth it? No, they fashion over. They not fashion over. Are they worth it? They didn't even have fashion over back then. <laughs> but I'm looking at these jeans or whatever. They were really cute, by the way. Like, I've never seen those jeans at Forever 21 ever again. Because when I finally got money, I went to another Forever 21 and didn't even, didn't even see no jeans. We going through, you know, whatever, whatever. We come out of Forever 21 and I see her bag, Le Lil Fay. Okay, her bag, Le Lil Fay. And I was just like, I don't know. I noticed her bag because her bag was like mad cute. It was like pink. So I was just like, oh, yeah, girl, you're bad cute. And I'm noticing, like, it getting a little shapely. And I was kind of, like, hmm, weird. Because she didn't buy anything. We, like, we didn't buy anything. So why your bag look a little look a little shapely? So we come out of the mall. <laughs> well, we're trying to come out. And there go mall security. It's just like, hey, hey, come here. And I just see her take off. Leave me in the dust, yo. <laughs> Left me in the dust. I didn't have a bag on me. So, the guy, he comes up to me. He's like, um, you guys were still in out of Forever 21. And I was just like, no. I mean, I don't even have a bag. Like, what are you talking about? So, then he just runs after my friend. My friend's gone, honey. My friend is gone. Like, <laughs> she is gone she is gone and i'm just looking like oh my god like when i'm walking out of the mall people are looking i'm mad embarrassed i'm just looking like 
why do I keep getting myself involved with these less than people? Because I'm not a thief. And to still makes you less than, let's argue, to still makes you less than. Okay, like, why are you still in? If you ain't got it, you ain't got it, okay? You, you just ain't got it. If you ain't got it, don't steal it. And especially, don't bring nobody with you to steal. Like, if you're going to steal, let me know you're going to steal so I can stand outside. Because <laughs> I don't want no parts, okay? So, she took off. You know, I'm walking out cozy. Like, I decided to go the other way. Because <laughs> I was like, I don't need nobody approaching me no more. Because it's embarrassing. Like, people looking at me like, mm-hmm thieving ass like i'm not even the one stealing so here i go with this guilt trip again i'm just like you know i'll keep hanging out with these thieving these trifling people so i get to the bus stop going because i'm just like i lived in la at the time so i was like i'm going home so i go across the street to take the bus i see her on the other side of the street she comes running towards me like girl i got so much stuff i got so much stuff i'm looking like georgina you know, i can't like Dude, you can go to jail for this. She's like, I do it all the time. I usually steal out of Walmart, but this is my first time stealing out of Forever 21. Wait. So you're not even a pro at stealing yet, and you got me caught up. I was just like, girl, I, I can't. Like, she's like, don't be scary. Why are you being scary? It's not being scary. It's called having morals. And honey, I got morals, okay? I got morals. So just know I, stopped. I had to stop talking to Georgina. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to stop talking to her because it's just, you can't associate yourself with these people. Just like, you know, when my, my best best friend stole, it was hard to go to stores with her without thinking she was going to steal. I mean, I feel like, I, I don't understand. <laughs> I'll never understand people who's, who shoplift. It's, you can really go to jail for this. Like, I could have had a record for and not even have been the one stealing. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. God kept watching over me and snatching me out of these situations, and I just keep going back. He snatching me. I keep going back. One day, he probably would have been, if I would have kept hanging out with these people that kept doing this, I'm pretty sure he would have just been like, go ahead. Go ahead, stupid. <laughs> go ahead, stupid. <laughs> I'm going to let you burn yourself, because I told you so what time I'm going to let you burn yourself. But who you hang out with, because they're a reflection of you, and I'm not a thief, so why am I hanging out with thieves? Hello.